Hi, welcome to the demonstration of the Paradox 1A. What we have here is a disc magnet driven by one stepper motor, it's off right now, and the conductive disc with a brush system driven by another stepper motor. Uh, one of the brushes is at about the diameter of the magnet. The other brush goes to the center shaft of the rotor and the brushes go off to the siglent meter which is reading about two millivolts right now. So let me put the camera on the tripod and what we're going to do is go through the different modes of the Paradox two, uh, 1A. Okay you can see the siglent in the background reading about two millivolts with just the disc spinning. Let's go to mode zero. Mode zero is with nobody spinning. And with nobody spinning, we have zero reading. Mode one is just the disc spinning. And we get about two millivolts. Okay, mode two is just the magnet spinning. And you can see there's no voltage generated. And mode three is both spinning at the same time. And again, we have two millivolts which shows that the magnet velocity has nothing to do with the voltage that's generated. That's Now, classical theory says it's in the closing path. Okay, but we're gonna, we have other paradox experiments that will demonstrate that it's only the velocity of the disk has nothing to do with the velocity of the magnet. Uh, as the math turned out, that you cannot tell from a meter sitting on the brush system where the power is being generated. That's what we determined when we, when we looked at the math. So uh, anyway, the purpose of this was to demonstrate the different four modes of the, of the uh, Faraday's final ritter, which I'm calling Experiment Paradox 1A. This is that setup. I will publish the parts list in a couple of days on the Patreon side. Oh, and our revolutions here were, the, the count here is about 1.4 kilohertz divided by 400. That's about a little more than three and a half turns a second. Thank you very much.